Hi, my name is Britt Spears. I'm a certified prosthetist orthodist and a fellow of the American Academy of Orthodists and Prosthetists. Today we're going to discuss special care of the residual limb. One of the main things that you do not want to do as being a fresh amputee is to prop your leg up underneath the pillow because this can lead to flexion contractures. Flexion contractures are bad things. They create fitting problems with the prosthesis that you will be receiving in the future. They also create weaknesses in muscle groups. If you have a flexion contracture, then your quadriceps muscles are not firing properly because they're not going to get into full extension. Plus also, your hamstring muscles, which are in the back of your knee and cause flexion, are going to already be predisposed to a flexion moment. So it'll be very hard to maintain extension during ambulation and gait training. One of the other things that you need to be very cautious about is attaining a adherence of the scar tissue where the cut area is on the distal end of the residual limb. That cut area tends to want to adhere to the cut end of the bone. So you have to mobilize that area of the residual limb by applying pressure and rolling that tissue around trying to keep it broken loose. The other thing you have to be careful about and very cautious about is whenever you wash your residual limb, you want to always utilize antibacterial soap and get the entire soap residue off of there. Soap residue causes um, skin rashes, and skin rashes are something that are that is very irritating to the limb, as well as whenever you get a skin rash, it could possibly lead to further complications, such as bacterial infections, and bacterial infections are not good being an amputee. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to extend your knee as much as possible by tightening, tightening up the quadricep muscle group. One of the ways that I recommend is while you're watching the television, during commercial times, tighten up the quadriceps for a count of 10. And when I say a count of 10, I mean 10 seconds. Keep it tight. And at the end of 10 seconds, let it loosen up and relax for a count of 10. And you're going to do that during the entire session of commercials. You will be very surprised how many commercials are on TV. Um, that's all for this discussion. There will be further ones. Thank you.